Hey Eurovision fam, it's Alicia and Shane. All right, we're back to give you our top five as of now. It is March 6th, 2017. We've got a lot of songs, so we wanted to digest a little bit early so that we can get through talking about some of these songs, because to be honest, these top five might not stick around much longer. We've got some countries coming out with, with some songs, some countries on the horizon that do well mm -hmm. at Eurovision coming. So yeah, I'm kind of excited to dive into this. Are you ready, Sean? I'm ready. Let's go. All right, we're gonna kick it off talking about our honorable mention first. Now these songs, they're like probably in sixth place, mm -hmm. you know? And so we wanna highlight them because we don't wanna just give love only to like our top five because we're nice like that. We can be. Sometimes. A little bit. Yeah. So I'll say my honorable mention, and I actually really love the this country okay. and this group, and so I really don't know why. Like it might just you might need more time for it to warm up. More time, but I will say I think this is the strongest vocal. Oh yeah. Okay. Netherlands. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. I grew up in the church, okay, before the lipstick. These girls are the ultimate, like, praise and worship team. Yes. Like, they slay. They don't they slay. need, number one, they didn't they need slay. no flashy gimmicks, honey. They were standing. Fully yeah. clothed. Fully clothed, all black. No, but giving us, you know what, I, it just hit me? Giving us Whitney Houston, Bodyguard, yep. I Will Always Love You, sold millions of records in a in a winter coat yep. and turtleneck. Hello. Literally sang the breaks off that song. Yes. Yes. And everybody else on this little show, to be quite honest. Yeah, no, you're right. You know why? Because you know why. Voc I mean just vocally, they just knew what they were doing. Like yes. I they could go Without the, they could go sing in the grocery store, and they would Why tear it up. Why they gotta be singing at the grocery store? You know, just doing some everyday stuff, and they could tear it up. No, be like, they're ready to go. Pineapple, pineapple. I was like, praise. I was like, is this a, is this a church song? No, they took it, us to church. They took us. It to church. elevated me. They higher. took us to church. And I it was, was like, the I'm not gonna cry no more. It was the gospel. It was the gospel. It was the gospel. All right, my honorable mention is at the top of a lot of y'all's list, but I will admit that I'm just not. Over here. Yeah, I, 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 okay. you good over there? I'm good. I'm I mean, good. can I give my yeah, can I okay, give my honorable right. mention? Who is it, girl? Can I do that? Who is it? All right, my honorable mention is Italy. Now, Italy. It's taking me a while. I feel like it's warming up on me, but I need a little bit more time with the track. Hater. I need a little bit more time with the track. Hater. I mean, some of us, we just like to digest. We don't want to just take it and then listen to it and then throw it away. You know, we really want to process the track. I need time to process. I'm ignoring that. I mean, it's at the top. I said it's my honorable mention, so I'm not throwing shade. I'm just not there yet. I will meet you. I just need a month. A month? I'm, I'm there. I think I think Eurovision fans really love this song. I I think it's top five, but I I don't know if this song is top three. He's not really gonna give a stage show. He's gonna perform the song, but I don't I think mean, it's gonna. He be. was trying to give us a little dance. <laughs> this thing. This thing. Oh, okay. That's uh, not that's not choreography. He just needs a little help. He just needs a little help. And you know he's gonna have the gorilla come on stage. <laughs> All right, now let's start with your number five position of your top five. Um, I'm gonna say, hungry. Okay. Hungry, because it was something completely different. Mm hmm The energy was good, but. The only reason they're not higher is because he, I don't know, I don't know. I just felt like a nervous energy coming from him. Okay. And okay. so I don't know, I don't know what that was. So his name's Yoki, I think it's like Yoki Papai or something like that. Get a little bit more comfortable. 
do <laughs> the Eurovision party circuit. I was getting a I'll lot of like that. this when he was singing. Like you were looking everywhere but like into the camera. Okay, I'll yeah. give you that. My number five legitimately has been stuck in my head all this weekend. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to go to Ukraine just so I can see this act. And it's Latvia, Triana Park. Okay, wait. Oh, I still wanna mm. see you. Drummer. I'm so open. The drummer. Because what drew me in was that was when she was doing her little thing, honey, and then it just turned to the drummer and he was already. He was already in the camera. he was in the camera already. <laughs> I was like, oh, who are you, boo? You no, are cute. I love this act. I think it's something different. And the thing I really love about this song is Eurovision songs have a tendency to be real dated. Mm -hmm. This is like, this is the future. Right. This is where music, I think, is going. I love their style. I love how it's funky. This song has been stuck in my head all weekend. Yes. I'm in love. I feel like they're almost challenging like us as music consumers to expand a little bit. Oh. And I appreciate that. I yes. really, really appreciate that. So yes, that's my number five, Triana Park. So my number four pick, leading up to my number one. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I got this. Okay, okay. Belarus. Hey. I'm hey. here for it. Hi, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Okay. Give me all that energy. Okay, I was like, roll me around in some powdered sugar and let me dance. That's what they had taken before they got on stage. Clearly. Energy for days. Yeah. Yeah. I think, you know, with those songs, also, you don't have to be so vocally. Yeah, no, it's easy. Yeah. In, in a good way. Yes. But I think the female vocalist is serving. Mm -hmm. I mean, to me, the female vocalist is good. I, yeah. I like her, but I mean, she's giving vocals. Yeah. And she's hitting her notes. She's not, I right. mean, she's not being lazy right. about it. So, I'm here for it. So, my number four right now is Poland. And I'm not going to lie, I wish... Kasia, Kasia, I almost kind of wish Lindita was singing this song. Yes. Like a flashlight burning in your eyes. <laughs> and the song is giving me drama. Yes. It's epic. And even though, yes, the song is a screaming woman and we've got a lot of screaming women, this song has like a booming, like a... Yes. Like it, like actually like thunder. Like yes. I feel like the song is like mm -hmm. swelling. Yes. Swelling like the whole time. I'm in love with this song. I'm in love with this song. I would download this song. I would listen to this song in my car. But let me tell you what I think. But I do think to me her vocals sound, they lack authenticity. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like I mm, I don't know if I should say, even say this. Speak on it. I feel like a black woman was singing the song in the demo, and then they gave it to Kajia, and then she just sang it like exactly the way the black woman did it, mm -hmm. except for the fact that like you know it just it lacks a little bit of soul, soul, authenticity. Mm -hmm. Um. So if I was Kaj Kajia. I would be listening to some Mahalia Jackson on repeat and smoke a little bit of what Amy Winehouse was smoking to get some of that soul in your life. Hello. I'm just saying, I'm just saying because the song to me is good, but the vocal just lacks a little bit of authenticity. Like I wish Lindita was singing this song. I, I just do. I know that sounds so bad. That does sound bad, but sweet. But I like. I mean, it's in my top five, so I like Poland song. I really, I really like it, and and clearly she has the pipes to do it. But me being picky, I, yeah. But you know what? There's two things that would make this song better. Um, 
feeling comfortable in the song. So I do think the authenticity piece, we can see it yeah. when she performs. Yeah. yeah. Because she's you can tell she's working to get She's get, trying to get, get there. there. Yeah. And then secondly, if you really want to command Polish. a song, if you really want to command a song, you need to do like Whitney Houston. Stand still with the spotlight. Yes, yeah, stand. You don't need to do yeah, all this. Yeah, she's doing a little uh, moving. Yeah, she's doing... Because doing... doing... she's trying to hit the notes. Yeah, oh, you're right. But, you're right. baby, you can hit the notes, but you just need to, like, take the power. Like, be a powerhouse when you hit that stage and sing that song. Because it's yes. a powerful song. Oh, it's good. So just the stand song is good. still and say, I need one light and one mic and kill it. And, and she's going to... I'm not going to lie. She needs some... Uh, just a styling note. Somebody please put some hair extensions in there or something to thicken it out, you know? Like, the hair is just looking real flat. Like, we need it, we need it, like, we need it, like, body. We need it, like, I just yes. woke up, like, And just, just the fan, just... And the fan, just... Awesome, man. So, you next. You're number three. Ukraine. Really? Yeah, what song was that? The rock song. Yes. 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 You alone on that one. Let me tell you. I mean, it's not my bottom, but it's like... Ukraine, that little rock ballad. It wasn't a rock ballad. Yes, it was. That was a rock ballad. Da, da, for your eyes. Time to look into your eyes. Yes. They had the little, the little timer on the shirt. Sean, you alone on that one. Yes. Y'all were giving me... Rent. Like the rent. The play rent. They were giving me rent vocals, strong male rock ballad vocals. And I was here for it. Sing to me. I loved it. If you're with me, comment, okay? Because we all know that little rock ballad. Shook things up in a good way. My number three is Portugal. I am in love with this track. I love the simplicity. I love the vocal. To me, this track is, it could easily feel boring, but it feels classic to me. Mm -hmm. I, I love the sweetness about it. There's an authenticity to it. It just feels easy. You like Portugal. I think it's rude that he's number three. All right, Sean, give us your number two. Since you tried to talk bad about him, Italy, you're my number two, boo. Okay, you better be giving me, okay, that little, that little suit was just a pinch tight in certain places. And I was even here for the little gorilla. I didn't even understand it, but I was like, you know what? Ale, ale. You better have a little prop, a little something <laughs> extra. I loved it. I loved his energy. I thought he was cute. He didn't do too much gel in the hair. You know, people have a tendency to go overboard. Especially in Europe. Right. Just save the environment. He's up. Loved his energy. Love the way he hyped the stage, hyped the crowd with him and a gorilla. Okay, Sean. I'm here for it. My number two was already mentioned, but <laughs> cry no more, feeling all alone and insecure. <laughs> Netherlands is giving it to me with this vocal. I, I just, and the crazy thing is when I first heard the song, it, so it left me. No, but the thing was, when I heard it, I liked it, and then, and then I went back to humming Triana Park. Mm. I, I went back to humming Triana Park. But there's no way that I can't have this in my top five. Yeah, it's just that good. I mean, this vocal is everything. Yes, everything. Yes. To me, this is a performance. I would want to see live because yeah. it would give me oh, chills. Oh, it would give you life. It would give me chills. And the way that the song progresses, we actually go somewhere. Yes. So many of these songs just like, nah, 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 nah. 
But here's the thing. This song could go nowhere and it would still be good. Oh, yeah, because the vocal. Yes. Because of the vocal. So because the fact the that they took us somewhere. No, they took us. They took us. We have, we have a key change, which to yeah. me is not a generic key change. Right. I mean, and the thing is, the song, it, I will say this, it feels a little dated because it does remind me kind of of like Wilson Phillips stuff. Mm -hmm. But I think we're kind of having a whole like renaissance of that thanks to like movies like Pitch Perfect. Yes. Where we listen to like these harmonies. And I do feel like that's something that's missing from pop music now is those strong yes. harmonies. Cause harmonies. Because even, even Fifth Harmony, they don't really like harmonize like that. Give it to me, I'm worth it. They sing it in unison. Right. Then we go to work. Work, 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 work. You ain't gotta go to work, work, work. But Unison. Yeah. Unison. And you're supposed to be a girl group. Oh, oh. They didn't even go harmonize on that. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, you're supposed to be a girl group and we're not even getting any harmonies. It might feel dated, but it only feels dated because these girl groups we have now are trash and not even taking advantage of the fact that, like, you can harmonize. But it's really they, because they can't. They can't. Yeah, they can't do. They, they can't, can't do what can't OG what is doing. Yeah, have. they can't do it. So I'm with it. Who's your number one? Who's in your top spot? Give it to us. Give it to us. Give it to us. So I'm gonna tell you when I clicked on when I watched this, I was a little apprehensive. I said, "What is this person about to do?" And then the moment they opened their mouth and I heard the first note, I said, I'm in love. Like, literal in love. Portugal, like, you swooned me yeah. from beginning yeah. to end because I literally, at that moment, I wanted a fresh pastry. I wanted a cappuccino. I, I, don't, even, a I don't even drink cappuccino. But I wanted one at that moment, and I wanted a beret, some Italian leather, leather slippers. And this is Portugal. Yes. And I wanted to sit on the terrace mm. and listen to you. It's so good. It's and, so good. And, like, and then I just wanted to like hug you and cuddle afterwards. It's so good. Whimsical. Yeah. Peace. Yeah. That allowed the audience to just kind of... Journey. Oh, yeah. I, like I said before, I mean, that song to me is just easy. Mm -hmm. It just feels like, yeah. 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 Like, everything's gonna be okay. You got into character, and that also charmed me. Like, you, the the quirks, the tics. Yeah, the quirkiness, the, yeah. You know, and it, it re that reminded me of Ingrid Michaelson when she first came out. Oh, yeah. Out. Yeah. She kind of had that little, mm, like, I'm going to yeah. turn my feet in and seem a little awkward. And and it was just very endearing to me. Yeah. And I loved it. Yeah. Portugal is strong. Yeah. Portugal's really strong this year. And the crazy thing was they did not participate in Eurovision last year. They took a break. And honestly, honey, the break served you well. Did you good? You went and got your life. Served you well. And number one right now is Hungry. He's giving us a little bit. I mean, he's not yoking, you know, what that guy in Melody Festival is doing. But the thing is, he's doing what John Henrik should be doing, which is taking it to the next level. Mm, yes. Giving us that traditional fusion. Mm -hmm. I just really like it. And it's. To me, I will say the rap part is a little eh, but to me it's done well. Yeah. And I know Eurovision fans are typically thrown off by anything that like even feels like hip hop, but like on a level, come on guys, it's 2017. Get with it. Hip hop is a genre of music that has literally changed the way that pop music is done, classical music, rock music. I mean, you cannot tell me that hip hop culture has not really just affected the culture. It's 2017. Combo. Hip hop is a thing. Yes. It is. It wins Grammys and stuff. I, I totally would go to Budapest. Mm -hmm. And it's affordable. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Well, 
Those are our top five as of now, March 6th, 2017. Do you agree with us? Talk to us in the comments below. Do you disagree with us? Talk to us in the comments below. Don't, you're not talking to me. Look, this is a conversation. <laughs> and yes, we're going to get so excited about Eurovision. 2017! I mean, honestly, this year was shaping up to being kind of boring. Like, I still feel like this year is not as exciting as last year. But my top songs, I like the top five. I like my top five. I like my top five. Yeah. I like my top five. All right. See ya. Ciao.